Right, so here's an interesting video for you all. Me and Amika are sat on these rocks here. Let me just zoom in a little bit. You can see us there. The van's in the background. And uh, yeah, we're just enjoying walking around, minding our own business. And in the background there, where that chimney is, you can see a guy on the bike. Just keep your eye on that guy. I'll skip the video forward a little bit. All right, he's stopped by the van. Quickly, let's get it again. Look, he goes straight past the van, has a good look through the windows, and then he stops. Quickly takes his backpack off. I didn't even know this guy was there. This was just by chance. And I turn round, he gets his camera out, and clearly, let's pause it, clearly taking a photo of the van. amazing what you find then he realizes the drones there now we're all the way over here look sitting down on those rocks and takes a photo of the drone then of the van again now I'll lose him on the camera puts his bag back into his phone or his camera it must be a camera or a camera phone puts it back in and re in a carrier bag back on his back and then cycles off into the moonlight and i bring the drone back and then we get back to the van and run after him but unfortunately i couldn't catch up with him so i have no idea what he was up to but there's no signs anywhere. It's perfectly normal road. The only reason no one was down there is because of how bumpy it was. But, yeah, what the hell is he up to? I made an old man I said, tell me your story Got an open and wrote something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road, and I watched him disappear like smoke. And I thought I'd just seen a ghost And I looked down at what he wrote He said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind Life is gonna happen one way or the other We're at Millen, a small nature reserve, right at the very end. I don't know what's here. This looks like it's an old quarry of maybe a mining or... In fact, no, I remember what it is. I saw it on the map. It's, it's an old ironworks. This is obviously all been transformed now. No longer the ironworks and it's... Uh, Actually, a nature reserve, and there's no restrictions for driving onto it. There is a, a small track for vehicles, so we haven't gone all the way into it. We've just come to the very start of it. And I've just noticed a sign here that says London Coastal Path, Borwick Rails. Where can I walk? The huge slag bank in front of you. Host some of the extremely sensitive bird species all year round. The ring plover in particular is virtually invisible. 
and the nests on the shingle and gravel like here. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. You alright? Yeah. You warm enough? Yeah. yeah. I'm not. I think you was. It's funny how I always know whether you're hot and cold, isn't it? No, it's not. So there's all sorts of... I think it's cool, isn't it? Shame we didn't have our kayak because it was, could have gone out onto that. It's nice and calm in this area. Yeah. I'd actually really like to go along there, but I don't think we're allowed to. You can see there's all sorts of different birds nesting. There's some there as well. Just moving around, so I don't think we can go on that. I don't even know if I'm allowed to park here, to be honest. But like I said, there's... There's actually a Google Maps track through here. I suppose if this was an ironworks, this would have all been pollution. Big thick black cloud coming up over the top of the factories. And now, nature reserve. Mika's just gone to put a jacket on because she's like every kid just comes out with the with the minimal clothes on the stands there freezing. What we got here? Look at that little crab. Although I think he's seen better days. He's no longer with us. So this wasn't on the plan today actually to come here. We just um drove through Millham because we didn't want to go on the A road or well, I think it is an A road but I didn't want to go the direct route there's <sighs> another crab yeah I didn't want to go the direct route because um, well I've, I've done it before and it's less interesting it's more interesting to go places where we've never been before so we accidentally found an old ironworks that is converted into a nature reserve which is pretty cool Crab. 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 There's loads on the floor. Let's see if she notices them. Oh, poor crab. Is it dead? Them from. I picked that one up over there somewhere. The thing is, if there's if there's dead ones, there must be a live one somewhere. This seems like a little place where the, everything gets washed up, so we might find some other stuff if we look carefully. I love this little crabby. What do you think of this little place that we found? Cool. I love it. Here. Yeah, that's where they've all been washed up, isn't it? Yeah. Why well, they're all dead? Very Aww. strange. Hmm, very strange. <laughs> so this place was an old ironworks where they used to iron. make iron to make bridges and things like that. You mean iron brew? No, they didn't make iron brew here. Oh, I know. <laughs> There's a huge crab there. Look. Is it dead? Floating. That's a massive one. Wow. So we've noticed in the distance there, there's a bench. And there was a guy walking two dogs and he just said, you can go over there. So he said, there's a gate over here to go through, which there is. Yep, yeah, and it still works. It's all for you, King Gregory. Thank you very much. Slave.
When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my So we're making our way back There's a load of these big birds with the long beaks just in front of us and they're making such a racket Yeah Aren't they? Yeah The path goes right past where they are So I suspect they're going to fly off any second now There they go Those two have landed there. They've landed up there. Yeah. God, these other birds are so. You can't even see them. If I was to look away now, I would lose track of that tiny little bird in front of me. There it goes. And they're off again. Bye bye. But they've all gone out of the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face I want to go down Oops! <laughs> 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 See if you can get to this side here. Yeah, you can. Definitely can. That's cheating. Right, film me then, see if I can. No! It's very low. Yeah. Yeah, hurrah for you. <laughs> Don't know. Does it pull down? Pull it? No? Hello. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but the older you get, the easier you feel sick when you go on things like this. Yeah. <laughs> you want to pull out? Yeah. Push me as hard as you can, Daddy. Like you have to wipe that then. <laughs> the silence. The silence. Always <laughs> <laughs> ends up in a screw. Careful, you don't fall. No one. Oh, that's a weird looking shell. Yeah, it's broken. Here, isn't it? Look how peaceful it is. There's only one problem about oh, I haven't actually told anybody where we are. I don't even know where we are. Uh C C scale? Yeah. C scale. The only problem with this, it's absolutely beautiful. It's really like just quiet. You can imagine this was a real old fishing town many years ago. A couple of pubs, really nice. And then we have a nuclear power plant. Sell a fiddle. We're actually going on the other side of Sellafield to our little uh, park up that we went to last time over there. It's really nice. <laughs> oh God, she's got 
too much energy. Whoa, very clever. Don't if you're do brave, anything. don't anything. What, like a hand of ticket? No! <laughs> well done. Well, we just got to the park up and I'm enjoying an oatmeal, a vanilla oatmeal stout. I'm about to enjoy it. With this view. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's a beauty. We're lucky, we might actually get a bit of a sunset tonight. I'm not sure. Let's we'll see. There's two of the cameras here. Or motor homes, I should say. And uh, I've got some peace and quiet. She's playing Roblox. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Right, it's time for fajitas. Right, well, that is the end of today's bank holiday Sunday. We've had a really busy day, haven't we? We've been to lots of different places. Yeah. Uh, we didn't film everywhere we went, we filmed most places though, um, and we've come down to one of our favourite park cups, which is just north of Selworth? Selworth. <laughs> if anybody wants to buy her, she's available at a very low price. That's uh, not true, it's one million trillion quillion Pound 1p. Okay. Or I'll swap you for a caramel bar. No! <laughs> Two caramel bars. No! One each. One each. No. Keep me and get um two caramel bars. Right. So for both of us. We're at, uh, we're just north of Sellafield, the nuclear power plant, which sounds a bit minging and that, but we're actually quite clean nuclear power plant, so they're definitely better than a coal power plant anyway. Um, so we're parked up here. There was two campers when we got here. One's gone. There's a lady in the one next to us just chilling out. I saw a big bottle of blue gin in the back of her, um, through the back window when we just moved. We just moved from where we were parked a bit further down now. We've got the parked at an angle so that the doors will open onto the beach and the side door looks out onto the beach as well. So it's... It's really nice. It's almost 12 degrees. I think it's only going to drop a couple of degrees tonight from what it is now. So it should be quite a warm night. Um, so just pop the heater on now just to get it to a nice temperature, get all the warm, walls nice and warm, and then we'll turn it off and we'll, we'll be all cosy for the night, won't we? Yeah. So we moved. We was going to stay at that other place, but because that guy was just being a bit of a Karen, um, taking photos and yeah you don't know who he is what he's up to and what his intentions are and i've got a little kid with me and i just do not want any hassle from anybody um but the likelihood is he was just a busybody that wanted to i don't know maybe he's just gonna maybe he's trying to get camper vans banned from that area or something who knows but um it's a shame we didn't catch up with him we ran as fast as we could back from where we were packed the drone away ran and i got back in the van but the road was so bumpy i think he was probably moving faster on his bike than what we were in the van um but i would love to have caught up with him and just like really put him on the spot like all right mate how's it going why are you taking photos of the van <laughs> yeah like <laughs> pretend he did nothing like hey yo what's up and they were like, great, how are you? We could have asked him for directions, that would have been funny. Excuse me, mate, uh, do you know where the nearest chip shop is, please? And they'd have been like, uh, 
Or he might have just said, oh, yo, you was parking down there, you can't park down there. <laughs> even though you can park down there, because there's no sign saying you can't even drive down there. Yeah. We asked a dog walker, it was a local guy, and I said to him, look, are we allowed to drive down that path? And he was like, yeah, of course you are, but there's the potholes are everywhere. No one goes down there because of the potholes. Everybody used to go down to the car park at the bottom. And I was like, yeah, not a problem, we'll get down there. So there was no signs, and it's a big loop. And when we came out to the side, I stopped and looked, and there was no signs anywhere saying you couldn't go down there. There's a car park at the top full of cars. So the reason people don't go down there is because it was just absolutely full of potholes. So you wouldn't take a car down there. You'd need a 4 by 4 or a van to get through. So, yeah, there was no reason why um, why we couldn't have gone down there. Um, I certainly wouldn't have gone down there if I wasn't allowed to. It was just being a busybody and, yeah, who knows. He went past once. I saw him looking through the van as he went past, like, staring. And then, obviously, he's then gone back again. Um, and realised we weren't in the van and tried to get his camera out. As soon as he got his camera out, just by pure chance, I was flying the drone from where we were, about 400 metres away, over the van. And I was like, hang on a minute, looking at my phone, why is there a guy stood by my van? I actually thought he was breaking in. Or I actually thought, you know, maybe maybe he'll break in. Um, I was thinking about doing something dodgy, but then I saw him on the camera get his phone out. So I was like, <laughs> flew the drone right across the top of him. And then he took a photograph of the drone didn't he so uh yeah who knows what he's up to he's probably trying to get camper vans banned from that area that's all i could yeah. think he was just like some busybody so um imagine how imagine how miserable and and just boring your life must be just to go around and do stuff like that you know if he's that passionate about something and I puts that him. much effort whatever that means what if he's that um question mark if he's that um if he's got that much energy to put into something right why doesn't he put that energy into something else yeah like i don't know gym the gym star jumps i can't you do them in this tiny van right i've got no idea what i was talking about now <laughs> Just a bloke being a bit of a moron. So, well, so yeah, we've moved anyway because of that. Because you just don't, you just don't want any. You know, when you've got a kid in the van, you don't want any hassle. So, if I was there on my own, I won't, I won't, I won't bat an eyelid. I'd just park up there. I'd yeah. leave, I'd leave all the foil off the windows and everything. So if he came to the window, I'd just, I don't know, mm. do something he'd probably regret. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, 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 so we've moved to this place now. It's Bank Holiday Sunday, which means we've got all day tomorrow to enjoy. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's going to rain. So it looks like we'll have a nice day tomorrow. And it's going to be not, it's not going to be windy tonight. Cloudy? Nope, the clouds are going to be gone. I think the clouds are gone now. Ha! <laughs> huh. <laughs> oh, Daddy! You had a good day? Yeah. What's been the best part of today? Um. Do you remember countdown? Do 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 do. No, you don't remember. I was talking to them. Right. Well, today was good. Uh, my best part was um, playing on the park. Same. Why didn't you say that then? I forgot about the park. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we won't go again if you keep forgetting about it. Uh... Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 right, sit down. Stop messing around here. Just be sensible. Come here. Sit down and be sensible. The belly laugh. The silence, the silence. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shout. <laughs> Don't scream. <laughs> right, anyway, so tomorrow, we don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. There's actually, there's actually a waterfall walk not far from here, which we might go and try out. I've, I've, been, I've been past it about 10 times and I think it'd be a good idea to uh, stop. To go and check it out. I've read a black hair when I'm here. 
You have red and black hair. <laughs> yeah, black hair this time and red here. All right, that's just the light, isn't it? No, it's not. It's my right, hair. Anyway, say goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye. You're clearly just as mad as we are if you're still watching. <laughs> yeah. Right, bye. Bye.